This is problem number 5 from Store Calculus 8th edition, page 466. So we have to find the area of the region bounded by these two graphs. So let me rewrite that. So it's going to be y is equal to sine. I'm going to factor out pi over 2. And then x like that. So our b term is this. In order to find the period for sine, it's going to be 2 pi over b, which in this case will be 2, 2 pi over pi over 2. Pi is one cancel, so that 2 becomes 4. So our period is 4. So somewhere here, that's going to be 4, halfway. So we're going to break it into 4 parts. And then amplitude is 1, so I'm going to start with 0, 0, because it's sine. I'm going to go all the way up to 1. And then negative 1 here. So sine goes up, comes back down. This is just graphing sine. So it's going to look something like this. I'm just going to draw one period, see what happens. And then I'm going to change my color. Let's graph y is equal to the second one. I'm going to factor x out. So I have x times x minus 2. So my x-intercepts will be 0 and then 2. And this is going to be parabola. So it's going to go up like that, something like that. Okay. So this portion will be bounded, and the top will be, this is the top. I'm going to do top minus bottom, which is the, this one right there. And the bottom one is uh, y is equal to x squared minus 2x. So let's integrate it from 0 to 2, because we're going from left uh, 0 and then right 2. And then we're going to do top minus bottom. So we have sine pi over 2x minus x squared minus 2x and everything times dx. So we need to integrate this down. Let's simplify inside. So we have 0 to 2 sine pi over 2x and then minus x squared that becomes plus 2x everything dx. Okay. So I'm going to integrate it separately. So I'm going to integrate sine pi x over 2 dx, 0 to 2. And then integrate, if I factor negative out, it's going to be 0 to 2 x squared. Since I factor negative 2 out, this becomes minus 2x. I'm going to factor, uh, what is it, uh, integrate this and this separately like that. You could do all three if you want. but I'm just going to do it this way, dx. Okay. Again, let me move it up a little bit here. So in order to integrate this, I'm going to use u sub. That u is equal to pi x over 2. Then du is going to be pi over 2 times dx. If I let u, if u replaces everything here, I don't have anything pi over 2. And by this time, you should know how to do u sub here. So I'm going to multiply by 2 over pi. So 2 over pi du is going to be equal to dx. Okay, so when you integrate it now, it becomes sine u du, but then 2 over pi should be outside, right? Like that. Okay, so I'm just going to do my left portion first. So I have 2 over pi. And then when you integrate it, I'm going to change. Remember these 0 and 2 were respect to x. I'm going to change to u now. So you plug 0 here, then pi times 0 over 2. So the lower limit is still 0. In that case, when I put 2 there, it's going to be pi times 2 over 2, which is just pi. And then I could keep everything in terms of u now. So that becomes sine u, since I factor 2 pi, 2 over pi out, du. So when you integrate this, it's 2 over pi times cosine, but then it's negative, right? Because derivative of cosine is negative sine. So cosine u. Then, you know what, I'm going to put, you could put negative outside here. I'm just going to put negative here. And then treat this separately like that. So it's going to be from 0 to pi. Okay. So again, remember, I'm just doing this left side portion only right now. And then I'm going to do this separately. So let's do that now. So I have 2 over pi times negative 
cosine pi, this whole thing, minus negative cosine 0 here. Okay, let's see what that comes out to be. So 2 over pi times cosine pi right there is going to be negative 1. So this is negative 1, negative negative 1 is positive 1, minus negative cosine 0 right there is positive 1. So it's going to be 1 minus negative 1, which is what? 2. So I have 4 over pi. This belongs to the first guy right there. Okay. So I hope you understand this. I'm going to erase this now. That portion becomes 4 over pi. Let me just put that. So it's 4 over pi. All I need to do is just integrate this portion right there. Minus, I'm going to put that minus away now. So this time, let's focus on this one right here. That's, this is going to be easier. So we have x cubed over 3 minus 2x squared over 2, where 2's cancel. Everything, everything, everything from 0 to 2. That's going to be 8 over 3 minus, since 2 got canceled, it's 2 squared, which is 4. This whole thing minus 0. This is just 3 on the bottom, 8 minus 12, it's going to be negative 4 over 3. That belongs to the second guy here. So ultimately we got 4 over pi minus negative 4 over 3, which becomes 4 over pi plus 4 over 3. That's the area of that bounded region right there.